Hello and welcome back to Irish Chippy Channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to do a review of a uh, glucometer. This is a care touch, uh, they call blood glucose monitoring system. Uh, this is a very, very popular brand. Uh, uh, I'm not going to do a, an unboxing because I'm just going to take everything out really, really quickly. So it comes in a nice pouch. Uh, you get Lancet and the Lancet holder and you get uh, the test strips. So do you check the test strips? The minute you get it, the date will be on the back of it. Uh, where is it? On the bottom, sorry. So the date on this one is for, uh, it tells you when it manufactured. It was manufactured last year. Uh, it's good for till the 11th of the 9th, 2022. And that's written on the back of this. So uh, the glucometer comes in this. It's, not, it's this size, it's very small. So it comes with the two batteries. They're very easy to in install. They are uh, standard. Uh, you pick them up in your supermarket, CR 2032. So we just open the back here like this. So we have it like this. You put the battery, uh, the narrower end uh, down, and you push it in this way, like this. and like this. And then put the cover back on. No. So all glucometers are to a world standard and the world standard states that, uh, that they should be accurate 15, within 15%, 95% of the time. So 95% of the time they should be within 15%. And uh, they should be within 20% 99% of the time. So there's no, you could do two tests on this and you will not, you can get them 15% uh, uh, apart, but that's, that's the world standard. Uh, before I, I'm going to do a test now in a minute, I'm just going to tell you, first of all, before you do anything like this, you should actually, if you suspect that you have diabetes or something like that, uh, or some other problem, you should uh, consult a physician first. And they, if you have diabetes, many people with diabetes use these, these uh, on the instructions of their doctors. And it also says uh, they are not recommended for uh, pregnant women or infants. There's a, a list of, uh, there's a list of error codes then as well. There's a little what, the, what you call a quick, quick reference manual and uh, how, to, how to use it. Uh, so they're like, for instance, the strip used is damaged if you're using a wrong test strip, that'd be error one. Error four, when there wouldn't be enough blood. But they're all there for your simple. I'm not going to go through all them with you. And the one I have here is uh, for the US. So in the US, they use uh, milligrams per uh, deciliter. Uh, we'll have uh, millimoles, millimoles, millimoles per liter, and that would be a smaller number. Uh, so uh, the normal rate for, for when you're, uh, the normal rate should be, when you're fasting, should be under 100 uh, milligrams per uh, deciliter. And that, that would be 5.6, 5, 5. I think, something like that. And when you're, uh, that should be below that. And when you are after eating, two hours after eating, uh, your, your sugar level will be a lot higher. It, but it should be under 140 or 7.8 in millimoles. And uh, as I said, if you, are, uh, if you are not attending a physician and you think that you, you have uh, maybe high blood sugars or low blood sugars, you should go to your doctor first and your doctor will guide you through it. Uh, you will still be using this because your doctor will ask you to take it, your uh, glucose uh, two hours after you eat and maybe take it in the morning before you eat uh, where you'll be fasting. So this is the Lansing device and uh, there's a kind of a trigger on it. There's a coding number how de deep you want the needle to go. So if you have really thick skin, I don't think you're going to go at 10. I can't remember what I put it. I don't think I said it at all the last time. I have it at five. If, you, if you're not able to get enough blood, you're going to have to take another one and do it again. You want to remove the top off this to put in the lance, lancet. You turn this anti-clockwise, a little bit of a thread there. So we will get this ready first. So you push that in 
and that engages the trigger, okay? And then you remove this, protecting the needle, and the needle is sticking out there, you see it, and then we will put this back on again. It's loaded now, so to speak, so this is your, uh, to, to your trigger. I will do that in one second. Next thing we will do is we will take out uh, a test strip. So when you open the test strip box, take one out and uh, it says not to handle it on, on, the, on, on the end, but uh, there is a narrow on it telling you how to put it in. Uh, there, there's a narrow here, so that means it goes in this way. I'm trying not to put my uh, finger where the test is. We, put the, we can put the test strip in here and before we turn it on if we like. I'll just push it in like this and then I will turn on the device. The blood drop starts blinking telling you that it's ready. Uh, it gives you the batch number on here and it should match up with this and yeah it's the same, uh, same code. So uh, what we do, I'll just let that down now. I'm going to clean my, my finger. I'll do it with a little bit of cotton, uh, cotton wool and alcohol. And then I'm going to puncture my finger. Some people say do it to the side instead of to, uh, to the, the middle, but uh, we will see. Now, it makes a little tiny hole in my finger, so I'm going to squeeze to see if you can get blood out. Not so much. Now I have enough blood. Now, you don't put this down onto this. You put this down onto your hand like this. And it's counting down. And it's giving me a reading of 115. <laughs> that's, that's, a good, that's, not, that's a good reading. Uh, it takes only five seconds for it to do it. I actually made too much blood. <laughs> now, when you're finished, you must dispose of the, you take the, need, the lancet out, like this. this. This is a needle, so this is supposed to go, in, technically it's supposed to go into a needle, but, uh, you know, the disposable thing for needles, I can't remember the name of them. That goes in there, and the test strip, because it's bloods. Bloods have to go into a certain thing. For the moment, I'll just put it here, I'll put them into this uh, little bag here because I don't have a needle thing here but they do have to be disposed of properly so all in all this is a very very good device because you don't have to do coding uh, the older machines you used to have to put codes in for these so that's the end of my review for the care touch uh, blood sugar monitoring system uh, this one here and uh, uh, it, I'm very pleased with how accurate it is. I don't have a problem with, but I have someone else that I know uh, has diabetes, and they can use. Um, you can use this for different people because you change uh, your your lancet every every time. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, if you like this video or any of our other videos, uh, please consider subscribing. <laughs>